perform the indicated operation, then use a calculator to check your work. So we can see the indicated operation in these two problems is division. And when we divide fractions, remember how we approach those. We keep the first fraction the same. So in our first example, the 5 eighths is going to remain 5 eighths. And then remember what we're going to do with the division. We're going to change the division to multiplication, like that. And then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And remember, the reciprocal is the flip of the fraction. So we're going to let 1 over 4 become 4 over 1. Now we just have a regular multiplication problem. And we know when we multiply, before we multiply straight across, we can look for common factors, one in the numerator and one in the denominator. And so with the 5 and the 1, if we look in the diagonal, no common factor there. But with the 8 and the 4, we can see that there's a common factor of 4. So we're going to rewrite 8 as 4 times 2, and we'll rewrite 4 as 4 times 1. Then we see the 4 over 4, that becomes 1, so those are going to cancel out. And that's going to give us our final answer when we multiply what's left straight across. 5 times 1 is 5, and in my denominator, 2 times 1 is 2. And so this is the way we're going to prefer to leave our answer. We want to leave it as the improper fraction. Now we can see that this would be equivalent to the mixed number 2 and 1 half, right? because 2 goes into 5 twice, and there's 1 left over. So that would be my new numerator. But algebraically, we prefer the improper fraction to the mixed number. Now let's take a look at this second problem. We're going to approach it the same way. Do be careful here. You might be looking at the 8 and the 16, the 3 and the 9, thinking, well, I'll just go ahead and do some canceling out first. But we want to be sure when we're, we're looking to cross-cancel that we have a multiplication problem. Notice this isn't multiplying yet. This is still dividing. So we want to go ahead and rewrite this as the multiplication problem. So we have 8 9ths. The division is going to become multiplying. And then remember, we're going to take the reciprocal of the divisor. Always the second fraction is the one that gets flipped over. So then we have 16 over 3. And now when we look at this problem, we're saying, well, there's nothing there that's going to, that's going to cancel out, right? There's no common factors between numerators and denominators. And so we just need to go ahead and multiply straight across. And 8 times 16 is going to give me um, 128. And in my denominator, 9 times 3 is going to give me 27. And so again, fine to just leave it as the improper fraction. And in fact, that's preferred. Now let's pull up our calculator here and see, um, see what we can do in terms of a check. So here we have our calculator. And we're going to go ahead and just put in the original problems. Oops, let's get the calculator back put in the original problems that were given. We're not going to have to change it to the multiplying before we put it in. We're going to let our calculator do that work for us. So we're going to use the fraction key, which is right up here on our calculator. So we're going to enter in 5, fraction key 8, and that's being divided by, so there's our division, 1, fraction key 4. And when I press Enter, notice that it gives the mixed number form. But we can go ahead and change that to the improper or have our calculator do that for us. Up above the fraction key, that's what's going to allow us to go back and forth between a mixed number and an improper fraction. So if we press second, because we're going to do what's up above the key, press second and then press the fraction key, notice it says take the answer and change it from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now when we press enter, there's the five halves that we had come up with. Now with our second problem, let's go ahead and clear out what we have. We're going to do 8 ninths, so 8 fraction key 9. That's being divided by 3 sixteenths, so 3 fraction key 16. And when we press Enter, again, we end up with the mixed number. But if we want to see what that is as an improper, improper fraction, we press 2nd and press the fraction key and then press Enter. And we're going to see the 128 over 27, which is exactly what we expected from working it by hand.